A year ago, we gathered at the teacher free store, but tonight we gather virtually. In normal times, the store would be bustling with activity on a regular basis and the mobile outreach program would be taking the, a subset of the store out for teachers to shop on the truck, but not this year. COVID-19 has changed the world for all of us. I wanted to share tonight some of the ways that Crans to Computers continues to work to level the playing field in the classroom by providing students in need the tools to succeed in school. I am pleased and proud at how the Crans to Computers team has adjusted over these last eight months, pivoting again and again as the environment changes. In the spring during the shutdown, we made bulk distributions of product directly to schools and responded to school requests, special requests from teachers. During the final 10 weeks of the school year, we distributed more than $330,000 worth of product made up of 76 different items given to 65 different schools. For August, which of course is our busiest shopping time of the year, we normally think of it as like Black Friday every day for two to three weeks. We decided that business as usual was not prudent this year. So instead of having the store open, we built kits of basic supplies and distributed those and other items to teachers by appointment as a drive-through distribution in our parking lot. We then shifted to reopening the store, adding the usual COVID-19 safety features and focusing on preschool programs since our August distribution had been dedicated to the K-12 teachers. We successfully welcomed preschool teachers for by appointment shopping in the store, but after three days, Hamilton County went red again on the state alert system and our operating guidelines required us to close the store. At that point, we distributed preschool kits and other items curbside in our parking lot. The mobile outreach program continues to serve 56 schools with two visits this year, but there's no opportunity to have socially distanced shopping on a 16 foot box truck. So instead of shopping, the mobile program will be mostly delivering this year kits to a number of schools in August and items that teachers requested in advance during the rest of the school year. In addition to all of these changes, we've looked for creative ways to distribute product in bulk, including reaching out to school principals with offers for cases and pallets of copy paper and ways to, distri to distribute larger items like furniture through a couple of days of by appointment shopping for furniture back in the warehouse back in September. Today, the store looks a bit more like a warehouse. In reality, it is a staging area right now as we've been preparing and testing our new ability to take online orders for pickup here at our location. We just rolled out this brand new opportunity for all of our teachers on October 26th. Within about 18 hours of the launch, we had more than 340 orders placed for pickup through today. The mobile program is also using online ordering for this, uh, this year. And now our team of staff and our smaller than usual team of volunteers are picking and packing and pre presenting for pickup the online orders from teachers. And it is all happening to rave reviews from the teachers. We did a survey of teachers at the end of the first week and here are a couple of quotes that we wanted to share. I love the curbside pickup. This saves so much time. I liked shopping on my own before COVID, especially for the odds and, end, odds and ends and miscellaneous items, but this was so great. Super convenient, easy in and out, great availability. Thank you, Crayons to Computers. And another teacher said, that was the most efficient process ever. Very convenient and my delivery person was so friendly and helpful. Thanks to everyone on your team for offering this opportunity. As I'm sure you can imagine, a number of our beloved regular volunteers are anxiously awaiting the time when they'll be able to return to their posts. In the meantime, we are grateful for those who continue to come in to help. And we know that many of them are grateful to have a reason to get out of the house. We are currently at less than 25% strength with our regular volunteers. And of course, we've shifted our events to be virtual. 
This started with Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader in June, included virtual supply drive opportunities during the push for pencils in August and September, and has expanded to include a virtual show and tell tour, and of course our class reunion today. While the pandemic has been a horrific challenge for the world, I worked to find the bright spots. And this has been a year of the pivot and a year of research and development for CRAYONS. A definite bright spot for CRAYONS is that this organization has effected more change more quickly than we ever would have done without the pandemic. They say that necessity is the mother of invention and the CRAYONS team has a passion for our mission and a desire to continue to make it happen. Right now, across our region, there are schools in every mode of learning, from full-time in-person to fully remote. We are working hard to meet the needs of our teachers and their students in need, wherever they are and however they are learning. In closing, I want to give you all a big thank you for your continued to support for CRAMS and the teachers and students in our region. This is what you make happen, and we thank you.